Hey guys, welcome to Gaps Infotech. In this video we shall understand what a digital nomad mean and their lifestyle. Let's get started now. The term digital nomad was created in 1997 because of a book published by Wiley called The Digital Nomad. Digital nomads and tourists have one thing in common they both enjoy going to new places. But although they both love to travel, digital nomads take it up a notch because they work online and live in different countries for months. This lifestyle is the epitome of living life to the fullest, and it has many benefits other than creating memories. Now, you might be wondering, how much money do digital nomads earn? A digital nomad's annual income can range from $25,000 to $250,000, which is enough for their monthly expenses, typically costing $1,000 to $2,000. But of course, their income can go even higher, depending on what they do for a living. The most common remote work for digital nomads is self-employed jobs like freelance writing, virtual assistants, and social media management. But it's worth noting that there are digital nomads who are employees or entrepreneurs. Regardless of their profession, studies found that digital nomads worked for roughly 40 hours per week, working in co-working spaces, hotels, or coffee shops. Do digital nomads pay taxes? Digital nomads file and pay their taxes in their home country, where they are considered citizens. However, you can declare yourself a non-resident for tax purposes in order to avoid some of your tax obligations in your home country. Countries that welcome digital nomads may impose taxes on them. For instance, digital nomads with a Thailand digital nomad visa must pay 17% in taxes rather than 35%. Being taxed twice can be a pain for digital nomads, but they can avoid it thanks to tax breaks like the Foreign Earned Income Exclusion FEIE, and the Foreign Tax Credit FTC, for US citizens. Can you be a nomad with a child? You can still be a digital nomad if you have children, but expect more challenges in terms of travel and parenting with this type of setup. In terms of education, digital nomads with families either enroll their children in an online school or homeschool them. This type of learning is even referred to by homeschoolers. It's known as global education. This educational movement aims to allow children to study and improve their education by traveling throughout the world. Where do most digital nomads choose to live? Southeast Asian countries are popular among digital nomads because they provide an affordable way of life. According to a UK study, Bangkok, Thailand, is the best city in Asia and the second best city in the world for digital nomads. It's reasonable, though, because most digital nomads come from high-cost of living countries like the United States and the United Kingdom. However, affordability isn't the only factor that digital nomads consider when deciding where to live, they also consider the weather, internet speed, and safety. Furthermore, this does not imply that all countries outside of Southeast Asia are unsuitable for digital nomads. In fact, Lisbon, Portugal, is ranked first as the best city for digital nomads. How long do digital nomads stay in one place? According to digital nomads, they typically stay in one location for one to six months. However, some digital nomads only stay a few weeks in one city or country, traveling to multiple countries in less than a month or two. They are able to accomplish this by carefully planning their thrilling journey. A digital nomad's multi-destination travel plan typically includes researching locations for their itinerary, selecting airlines with better deals, and inviting other digital nomad friends to save money. Are digital nomads good for the economy? For a variety of reasons, digital nomads are beneficial to a country's economy. A good example is the increased demand for short-term rentals and small hotels. There are also digital nomad bloggers who do travel blogs and show their audience where they go, which attracts more tourists. Because of this, digital nomads are valuable customers for those in the real estate and tourism industries. As a result, many countries are now offering digital nomad visas. What's a digital nomad visa? A digital nomad visa is a type of visa that allows remote workers to keep on working while staying in a particular country. Think of it as an upgraded version of a travel visa, allowing digital nomads to do their work legally and stay for more extended periods. Processing and receiving a digital nomad visa can take a few weeks or months, depending on the country they're applying for a visa. 
For example, it can only take 15 to 30 days when you apply for an Estonia Digital Nomad Visa. But besides Estonia, other countries are also offering visas ideal for digital nomads, such as Germany, Iceland, and Croatia. Can being a digital nomad improve mental health? Being a digital nomad can improve or worsen your mental health. Recent studies show that digital nomads are more productive, creative, and engaged with their work, three factors that contribute to improving mental health. But people traveling and working anywhere they want aren't an exception to challenges and struggles. An example would be digital nomads being pressured to succeed in their careers because people have high expectations for them. Working anywhere and anytime you want is often associated with living the dream. Which makes it harder for some digital nomads to share their struggles, which everyone has. Another struggle digital nomads have is called travel burnout. Digital nomads who've experienced this struggle combat it with what they call, slow travel, focusing on getting to know more about the country they're visiting rather than trying to visit as many places in a short time frame. How old are most digital nomads? It's a misconception that a digital nomad lifestyle is only for young people. Digital nomads are mostly comprised of millennials or those in their mid-twenties to early forties, a study also shows that almost half of digital nomads worldwide are in their thirties, this age group is the sweet spot for having a stable income that allows them to afford this adventurous lifestyle. And out of all the generations, millennials were found to be the age group inclined to job hop, which is perfect for people working remotely. Many in their 40s to 50s, or Gen X and baby boomers, are also a large part of digital nomads, some even turning digital nomads after retirement. Preventing loneliness was one of the biggest reasons they became digital nomads later in life. How do digital nomads date? Like their work, digital nomads also find partners online through dating apps like OkCupid, Bumble, and Tinder. Digital nomads can also meet their future partners in Facebook groups and Slack channels. When did the digital nomad lifestyle start? In 1983, the term, digital nomad, wasn't even invented. Today, more and more people are shifting to the world of remote work to achieve this lifestyle. It doesn't matter if you're in your 20s or late 50s, you can become a digital nomad. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to Gaps Infotech.